Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the... Whew, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals Palette. I just got this in the mail pretty recently. It's a funny story, me and my best friend actually <laughs> got this for each other for Christmas slash her birthday's coming up. And I texted her and I was like, I just got your first Christmas slash birthday present. And then she was like, did you really get me the Tati Beauty palette? And I'm like, how did you know? And so when this came in, this was supposed to be hers, but she texted me and she was like, well, I got you one too, so there's that. <laughs> um, I guess we both are just gonna keep the ones we bought because there's no reason to send them to each other when we have the exact same thing. The palette, very beautiful. Nice and sleek. Oh, I love the packaging. It's super matte and it looks like a book. Sort of. Excited to do some swatches for you guys today and then um, create a look. So yeah, if you guys are interested then please keep on watching. I'll put the timestamp of the swatches somewhere around here, around here, one of those, and then um, the timestamp of the demo or tutorial part. So I wanted to say, um, if you don't like my giant bun, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I didn't mean for it to happen today. My bun just decided it wanted to be large and in charge. No eye makeup and the rest of my makeup done, but that's why we're getting into this palette here. Tati is wonderful. I've been a huge fan of her for a long time now, probably three years or so. Um, not as long as she's been on YouTube. She's been on YouTube a very long, long, long time. But I've only been watching her for um, about three or four years maybe now. So whenever you open the palette, it comes with this giant ass mirror. Hello, it's me, hello. The mirror is as big as my head, if not bigger. Okay, and here are the eyeshadows. So stunning. I'm super excited to use this. I don't know what color scheme I'm gonna go with yet. I'm really drawn to like these browns and these oranges for like the fall, but I'm also really drawn to these, which I might do a look for another day, but I also really like these because I love dark smoky kind of. Uh, I think this palette's beautiful. I don't think that anything's done wrong. I think it's perfect. Um, I mean, I'm just saying that just looking at it. The color scheme is what I'm referring to. But yeah, so um, Tati explained in her video her um, like story behind this. So basically you have um, four different types of shadows and you have the matte, sequin, metallic, and glitters. And then you have six different color stories, color themes if you will. So yeah, this is the palette once again, and now let's go ahead and move on to the swatches. If anyone's wondering what lip combo I'm wearing, it is the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner and the Fenty Beauty Fussy Gloss Balm, which is gorgeous, and I feel like together these this lip combo, oh, wonderful. I love whenever something can make it look like I actually have lips. <laughs> So I'm going to begin my swatches. I'm going to start with the darkest side, right here to the right, and the mattes, and work my way up. And then I'm going to go this way, if that made any sense. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm out of makeup wipes, so to clean my finger off, I'm going to be using the Face Silk um, makeup remover pad things. They're supposed to be like reusable. I haven't used them yet. Because honestly, I haven't really been wearing makeup, and I got those like a week ago, and I haven't worn makeup in over a week. There's been a lot going on with my family, um, my mom's having some health problems, so it's just been kind of hard, kind of crazy, and I haven't really had time for makeups, but I did makeups. So my battery's gonna die soon, but we're gonna try to get as many swatches as we can until I have to change my battery. Oh wow. That is beautiful. I feel like that's a really good- the swatch is not that great, that's my fault, but that is a beautiful matte black, for sure. Oh, I don't think you can see that. The sparkle in that is incredible. Oh my god! 
you guys. Okay, so that was the metallic in the shade Memory right there. And now we get to do the glitter, which I'm so excited about. Ooh, the texture is very interesting on that glitter and I grabbed way too much on my finger here, but I'm excited for this. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, it only looks chunky because I grabbed way too much. But that is the glitter in the memory row. Is the memory row. These are beautiful. That glitter, okay, the texture is so interesting because it feels like glitter, but it's like soft, you know? Like, it doesn't feel like traditional glitter with glue. Um, oh god, oh god, I'm getting glitter everywhere. This might not be a good idea. Okay, so, they're still like traditional glitters in the sense that you will get tiny glitter particles all over your skin. I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite a bit. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next row, and that's gonna be the Ritual row right here, Ritual. This one was Memory that we just did, and there's Ritual. Here's the mat for Ritual. Oh wow. I'm not the greatest at swatches, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do these mattes justice. Like they're absolutely beautiful and pigmented, but I feel like you can't tell because my swatches are shit. I don't know why I spread them so far apart. Wow, that's beautiful. So now I'm gonna take the metallic. The metallics feel so soft, by the way, like butter. And that's the metallic shade right there. Very pretty and rusty. These swatches are so not lined up. <laughs> wow. That is the ritual world. Glitters? They're stunning. Okay, the next row I'm gonna go into, which I feel like is gonna be a huge staple for a lot of people, especially in the fall time, is this one right here, Story. A lot of these colors in like the Jaclyn Hill palette. So as per usual, I'm gonna start with the matte shade. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, wow. Whoa, you guys. And I just wish you could see the glitters on these on camera. Oh my god, the glitter's insane on the sequins. And that pigment though. Like, wow. Alec. Oh yes, bitch. I feel like this is gonna be look really good for like a fall halo eye. Definitely gonna be using this for that. Okay, that was a shitty swatch, but look at that shit, you guys. That is the story row. How beautiful these are. I just can't get over it. Also, I'm literally getting glitter everywhere. Now I'm gonna move on to the soothe row. So here's the matte in the soothe row. Super nice. Wow. Oh wow, that's a beautiful color scheme too, really. Oh my lord. Those glitters are just insane. <laughs> oh, I can't even, like I'm shocked. I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I'm trying really hard to make these swatches nice, but the glitter's getting everywhere, so. You know, it's probably fine if you're just using one glitter on your eye, but trying to show you all of these glitters is getting really difficult because glitters just like spreading all over my arm. And now I have dog hair sticking to my arm. Great, that's cute. Aura row right there. It kind of blends into my skin tone. 
But that's the first matte I've picked up that I thought wasn't the most opaque. And maybe it's because it's a lighter shade, I'm not quite sure. Here's the sequin, which also sort of just blends in with my effing pale ass skin tone. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. That'll be a good like eyelid topper for like wedding makeup, like bridal makeup I mean. Wow. It just like kind of covers my tattoo almost too. That is the Aura Row. Poet Row, right there. In the Poet Row. Wow, that's beautiful. Glitter. Woo. Okay, that bottom, ignore that. <laughs> it's because I'm using my pinky for swatches, okay? The Poet Row. Really impressed with these swatches, and now I really can't wait to put these all over my eye. And really quickly is that I already primed my eyelids with MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is what I normally use to prime my eyelids. Be like a half cut crease type situation. By the way, these brushes I'm using today, all of them are stained severely, but I promise they're not dirty. I'm gonna use today, mostly because I feel like it would go good with my lips, is the Ritual Row, which is pretty much all the, let me show you. I'm gonna be using the Ritual Row, all of these, like, these browns position shade i'm gonna grab some of this some of this my, matte like brown this soothe matte shade for a transition shade because i feel like that's like the perfect transition shade just on my really fluffy brush here and i'm just gonna buff that in my crease i didn't pick up like very much shadow at all because I, I just assumed these are going to be hella pigmented, which I assumed correctly. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more, tap off the excess, and then windshield wiper it in. Oh my god, yeah, that's pretty. Oh yeah. It's blending beautifully probably easier than any of my morphe shadows which i thought blended incredible i feel like this blends in comparison to my jeffree star blood sugar palette if not even a little bit better like the quality of these shadows oh, girl so now i'm gonna take a little bit more dense fluffy brush here and i'm gonna go into that matte Ritual shade, which is the dark chocolatey brown, the matte in the ritual. And I'm gonna go a little bit underneath where I just placed that in my like actual crease, I guess you could say. Blended it out slightly. I'm gonna go back to my original brush with no product on it, and I'm just gonna blend over all of that. Those are blending really beautifully. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super like effortless. I'm not even putting that much pressure on. I'm just kind of letting the brush do its little thing. And honestly, I feel like these shadows are just like, they're made for this. They're made to just blend into one another seamlessly. I really love how that's looking. That's beautiful. So now that I have that down, I think I think I'm going to take an even smaller, denser brush and I'm going to take some more of that matte ritual shade and I'm just going to deepen this outer V-ish area.
super nice. Everything's just blending so beautifully. I'm super impressed. I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush again with no product. Just blend that all out so that there's no harsh lines that we got going on there. My crease. So because of my hooded eyes, I have to cut my crease a little bit high. Elf uh, Camouflage Concealer 16 Hour Wear. I think that's what it's called. I didn't even look, you guys. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on that flat brush. And I'm going to look down, apply some of it pretty high because I know my crease is going to be high. And then I'm going to open my eye because of my hood. That should transfer exactly where I need it. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep adding some more concealer until I get a pretty solid base there. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a really thick layer of concealer. I actually don't like to put a really thick layer. Um, you just pretty much have to get it laid down. Now you can either set it with powder or just the eyeshadow you use will be like your set down for it. Question mark. That was not that was not good English. So um, what I'm actually gonna do now is take this really precise like under the eye shadow brush like flat, and I'm gonna take some of that Ritual the dark brown matte shade thing and I'm just gonna put it right on that little line to just like sharpen that cut crease even more. I'm just gonna stamp it on. So now that it looks like literally just replaced a line, I'm going to take that fluffy brush again with no product and just like buff it out very gently because you don't want that brown to go too high up. If it falls down in the concealer you placed a little bit, that's okay because you're going to be putting your pigment there anyways or your glitter. Okay. Pretty. So now that I have that laid down, I'm going to go ahead and play with the fun shades. Take the sequin on my finger in the Ritual shade again. Take it on my finger, whichever finger you want, and I'm just going to place it right next to the matte shade. Hey you guys, I just wanted to come on real quick to say that um, I didn't mean to make this look like this, but I'll show you how I end up um, sort of fixing it later on. Um, I think I made a mistake by putting that sequin color there because it's too dark and I want this to look more like a cut crease and that's not, not it. So I'm just going to try to take this pretty dense brush and grab the glitter. Hopefully I don't have to use, oh yeah, I have to use my finger. Okay, I'm going to take my finger then, my index finger and I'm gonna pick up the glitter in the ritual palette I mean the ritual shade and I'm just gonna start but not on there okay so this is not a cut crease at all well I think I'm gonna try to take some of the glitter from the soothe which is a lot lighter like goldy and I'm just going to pack it on top there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we're not doing a cut crease then. <laughs> not really, anyways. Wow, that looks intense. Pretty. Alright, so... That's really beautiful it's not a cut crease at all I should have just used the lighter one from the get-go 
mean, look at that. That's insane. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll do a little bit on the lower lash line, probably that matte brown shade, and I'll come right back with my eyelashes on and some final thoughts. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry, I decided I'm going to apply a little bit more gloss. I'm going to go ahead and apply the gloss Not Fussy again. I'm going to apply Hot Chocolate because it's darker and I think a darker lip would look better with this eye look. So this is the gloss. Um, I'm just going to put it over whatever leftover fussy I still have on my lips. It's a lot better with these eyes. Um, even though the eye look didn't turn out exactly what I envisioned, like the cut crease, I still think it looks really pretty. Um, the glitter is just insane. Like it's so pigmented and it's so beautiful. I might have just been using too much. I think I might have used a little bit of a heavier hand um, because I still got a bunch of glitters all over me and all over my face. Um, what I recommend doing is if you get glitter somewhere you don't, take a spoolie and like scratch it off your skin. That usually works pretty good. Um, like I said, I probably used way too much of the glitter, but I think the end result is that it looks really beautiful. So after I put my lashes on, I'm going to do some close-up shots for you guys. So far, I really recommend this palette. I can't wait to play with around. I can't wait to play around with it some more and show you guys more looks that I come up with. Um, I do think this one's nice. It's not exactly what I envisioned. <laughs> But um, I think it's still pretty, nonetheless. It's very fall. It's a lot darker than I intended to go, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. So I just have the lash loosely placed, and then I'm going to place my other one, and then I'll do some squeeze in, squeeze it together. The lashes I did use today are the Dodo Lashes in the style D338. Um, I do have a discount code with Dodo Lashes if you would like to use it. It is Emma Victoria MUA, and I believe you get 10% off, which is a good deal, considering these are already really affordable lashes to begin with. video on the Haughty Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't wait to do more tutorials with this palette and create more looks, especially more colorful kind of out there ones. Um, I feel like this one is very traditional like fall, like I don't want to call it smoky but it is definitely smoky this look I created. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what else to say. I think the Wow, this bobby pin is sticking straight out, serving no purpose. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below if this is a palette you think you're going to be interested in buying or if you already bought it. I'm really excited to see more looks with this. I'm excited to do more looks with this. So, um, yeah. If you guys would like to follow my Instagram, it is emmavictoria underscore mua. This palette is beautiful. So, yeah. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel. I don't really have a consistent upload schedule, but I upload when I can, when I want to, when I film. You have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!